our next speaker is an international actress, member of the accredited Union of Excellence and Film Industry. Egyptian born by origin and a proud mother. And I am also a mother who, who will call her proudly on stage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome on stage Eman Abu Al Nassar. I'm Iman Abu Nasser, I'm Egyptian, Belgian. I left my country in 2006. I always wanted to be an actress. And uh, as you said, it's not always what you want your family agree with. So uh, my family was so against it. I tried to stick around, so I studied music. Then when I finished my music, I felt like there is much more to do and the world is much bigger, so I wanted to travel. Therefore, I went to work in hospitality because I'm obsessed about different nationalities and culture. And I love being in Dubai because it gave me this opportunity as well. So, I went to Belgium with full wings. I thought everything would be super easy. I'm going to go into acting and modeling and nothing will stop me. Of course, I was dreaming. After finishing my bachelor's degree, I had a um, final degree of very good, which is quite nice. I went to Belgium and they told me, sorry, you don't speak Dutch. You cannot do anything here. So I had to start from zero. I had to work for TNT Express, putting data in the computer for almost two years, which was very, for me personally, quite boring. But that didn't stop me at all. I study makeup artist course. I study fashion. I said, I'm in Antwerp. It's the heart of the diamond. So it's a sign you should do something with that. And it's a glamour and you like, who doesn't like diamonds, right? So I studied diamond as well. <laughs> I loved it. And because of the diamond, I came to Dubai, actually. We opened an office in Dalmas Tower. I love the industry, but still, deep down, I want a camera. I want a film. I want to become an actress. So four years ago, I started doing modeling as a part-time and acting. And six months ago, OK, let's go backwards. I did well, I took it internationally, I worked in Paris, in Belgium, I worked with top designers as Michael Cinco um, and many others. Still, I wanted to do more. I wanted to speak for women that don't have a voice. I wanted to, to speak for people that don't find their passion. I wanted to to tell it's never too late to change your career. It's never too late to change your whole life. Six months ago, I changed my life completely. I stopped with a diamond. I went fully in acting and modeling. I went back to where I belong, which is the sea. I love the sea. I wrote down all the things that makes me happy. Why I went into that? Because I had a little bit of crisis through Corona. I lost four members of my family which is quite shocking for me, but I took it as an opportunity to start totally new, from zero, without worrying about anything else. And to be honest, I never been happier. I just wanna say that whatever make you feel good and whatever you feel passionate about, you can do it. You don't have to stick in one industry. You don't have to be only a fashion designer or working in a bank or working in a pharmacy. You can do so many things. Your time, your life is yours. The day is long, guys. You can do much more than just going to the office and coming back and having your income. You can absolutely do more than that. And you will, only if you love what you do. Because if you love what you do, you never have to work a day in your life. So I decided for the moment, I'm doing like four or five things together. Back to fashion. What's fashion for me? Why I love fashion? Because it's freedom. Fashion is free. It's priceless and it's free. You express yourself, you're being creative, and you just wear whatever you like. So again, I would advise everyone who want to talk about fashion, just to step out of your comfort zone, try new things once a while, buy very simple things. It doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to be branded, we don't have to copy others. We love fancy and shining and all, but again, each person need to find the right fit for them. 
And what is the right fit for them? It doesn't have to, to be that everyone agree about it. If it's decent enough for the country or for the environment where you are, that's it. You can go as crazy as you want. I repeat, you can go as crazy as you want. I love Max glasses. <laughs> um, yesterday, actually, I was in my nail salon and I saw a beautiful necklace made of, um, of pins. Just you took all the bands that they have in the salon and decorated a beautiful Nicholas. For me, this is a passion. So again, also I want to answer something. People ask me this question a lot. Tell me something, that all the fashion designer are rich? This question you will find more, uh, uh, much more in Google. No, it's not true. Not all the fashion designers are rich. Not all of them are famous. These people worked so hard on the talent. They studied. They worked hard, they didn't sleep nights. I know, you are one of them. <laughs> I saw, please stand up. I saw him drawing a dress in five seconds. I was like, hands up, man, you should speak, not me. Please. So again, fashion is an art. And whatever I'm doing, I found that it's all connected because music, acting, fashion, all, it's all creation and all art. So, yeah. The last thing I want to say, whatever you want to look fabulous, put your smile, of course, because the more you smile at life, the more life smiles at you. And I mean it. So, enjoy. <laughs>